to another of our headline stories this hour. German police are being accused of a major security lapse after they allowed a key bomb plot suspect to run free for days, reportedly with explosives. They finally captured Jaber al Bakir on Monday in Leipzig. Well, for more on this, let's cross live now to Lizzie Phelan, who's in the German and capital. Hi there, Lizzie. An uneasy couple of days, I think it's safe to say, in Germany with the terrorist suspect on the loose. That's right, the federal state of Saxony very much on edge over the weekend after a raid on this suspect's apartment failed to capture him. He reportedly escaped uh, just before that raid and police said that he could have gone on the run with explosives in his possession. Angst? Fear. I'm simply scared. You have the feeling it has nothing to do with you and everything is far away. But the terror lives right next to you. Now, what we know so far about the suspect is that, as you said, his name is Jabba al Bakr. He's a 22 year old Syrian national. Uh, he's, uh, he's allegedly, uh, he was allegedly planning attacks against one of the two airports in the German capital, Berlin, or the transport hub in his home state of Saxony. Now, he came to Germany uh, in 2015 and was granted asylum here in the same year. He was, in fact, apprehended. This morning, by another Syrian man in Leipzig uh, train station. Leipzig is about 85 kilometers away from um, Chemnitz, where police raided his apartment on Saturday. And this other Syrian man had seen the news reports about Al Bakr. Um, Al Bakr asked him if he could stay at his home. He took him to his apartment, tied him up, and then called the police. Now, aside from this, Al Bakr had reportedly been on the radar of German intelligence services. They Say for some time. The lead came from law enforcement agencies, namely from the intelligence services, because the person had been on a watch list for a long time. Now, dozens of armed officers on Saturday, as I mentioned, raided his apartment. He reportedly managed to escape just before that. Police uh, found during the raid, they say, hundreds of grams of uh, an explosive, a very powerful uh, homemade explosive called TATP, which was used in both the Paris and Brussels attacks. I was standing at my window and saw police officers with ladders. I took a photo and right after that there was a loud explosion. It was so powerful that the eighth floor shook. We were not allowed to leave the building. So now we're just waiting for more details about what exactly this suspect was allegedly plotting, but ultimately relief this morning that this weekend-long manhunt has finally come to an end. Yeah, and those details that we do know are really quite worrying, the power of those explosives for one. RT's Lizzie Phelan reporting for Berlin. Thank you. Well, former MI5 intelligence officer Annie Michon says the failed raid shows there's a lack of communication between German security services and the police. Well, I'm sure the, uh, the security infrastructure will say that lessons have been learnt from this, but it does sound like there's a breakdown of communications between different sections of the security forces and the police. So this person apparently entered Germany last year, was given asylum last year, um, and then was under investigation quite intensively from last year by the German in, uh, Interior Security Service, the BFE. And the BFE put out a very high alert last week saying he was at level two. Now that's only one down from the top level of level one as a threat. And then they passed along this information to the police and the police seem to have um, not communicated effectively between the relevant, uh, relevant different sections. The presidents of Russia and Turkey meet today in Istanbul. We get into what's on the agenda later.